Have you imagined the falling field from the sky? Why don't we use parachutes for that? Does it sound silly? But here it is, Jaffle Shoot. To say simply, Jaffle Shoot is one of the sandwiches eateries. So why does it innovative? Let's take a look at it. The Jaffle Shoot is a compound word of Jaffle and Parachute. The first Jaffle Shoot was founded in Melbourne by Adam Grant, who co-founded Jaffle Shoot with friends David McDonald and Hugh Perkinson. The first branch in Melbourne actually located fifth floors above a street level in a room with four devil makers and a stack of further parachutes. How did they have this innovative idea? Jaffle Shoot is on the fifth floor, however, the founder made better use of space by using the parachute. Adam Grant, one of the co-founders, said his business was started by thinking of using narrow alley vertically in Melbourne. He said, Melbourne is quite ideal for Jaffle Shoot because of its abundance of inner city laneways. Well, three founders, Adam, David, and Hugh, booked a cabin in Melbourne, but when they arrived at the building, they discovered it had no electricity and was not suitable for the eatery. It seems like no one is willing to walk up the stairs for sandwiches. So they discussed about how to deliver their food from the fifth floor innovatively. Through this experience, he suggested about using parachutes to deliver food. That is the concept behind the Jaffle Shoot. So, how can you get Jaffle Shoot from the world's first float down eatery? That's very simple. You select your feeling for Jaffle. Pay via PayPal, send on the X at 349 Flinders Lane at your nominated time and catch your snack. The thing this idea is very innovative is nobody thought about it before. Who wants to get their sandwiches on 5th floor? Does anyone have time to go to 5th floors just to get sandwiches for your breakfast? The process to order is not complicated. Once you order, the thing you expected to do is just be your X sign at nominated time, which means you do not have to wait for your food before. Because of their innovative and unique idea, many tourists want to experience the unique delivery service. There are only two branches in Melbourne and New York exist in the world. It means that the people go to Melbourne and New York might want to get their food from the world's first float down eatery. There are numerous marketing strategies behind an innovative product. These marketing strategies will help achieve the maximum profit potential and sustain the business. Looking firstly at the marketing mix, which consists of the price, product, promotion and placement. The Jaffle Shoots menu and price change with each product release. For their last release, they offered a halal snack pack, entomy and cheese, and cheese and tomato jaffles for $5 each, which the consumer can purchase through PayPal exclusively. Due to jaffle shoots being profit neutral, they charge to cover their costs. The product is described on the jaffle shoot website as being bread encased molten cheese treats that fall direct from the sky into your hands. Melbourne's first, only, and best pop-up float down toasted sandwich delivery service. Essentially, this is what it is. The product is a jaffle sandwich that will fall from a rooftop or balcony at a set time and place with a miniature parachute attached. The concept behind jaffle shoots is simple. They announce their next planned event on social media and their website. People place their jaffle orders online and then the precise location is revealed on social media. The promotion of the product has been vast, with their major campaign being on social media. Advertising of the product was distributed through Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. The startup company relied heavily on word of mouth to promote their campaign. By only releasing their product every few months and giving constant updates, it creates a sense of demand surrounding the product. Not having the product at the consumer's disposal 24-7 creates an excitement about the next release and gets people talking. The placement of the product has been chosen to supply the consumer with the easiest jaffle shoot experience possible. 
Their campaign will majority of the time use Melbourne's alleyways as the launch spot, somewhere where there are no trees, ledges, traffic, or anything where their product could get caught or have possible danger on their consumers. The owners construct the packaging of the product. The parachute is made of a garbage bag and string, and the jaffle shoots lay safely in a brown paper protective covering. As this is a neutral profit company, this is beneficial in saving money and keeping the price of the product reasonable. Now looking at marketing fragmentation and the marketing conditions. Marketing fragmentation is the creation of many consumer groups due to diversity of distinct needs and wants in modern society. The need and want of jaffle shoots is one of those things where the consumer doesn't realize they need or want it until it's at their disposal. There has been a huge rise in delivery services in the past few years, with Uber Eats, Delivery Hero, McDonald's Delivery and many more coming to prominence. Consumers are always going to be intrigued by new products. The idea of a delivery service where your order falls from the sky is undeniably innovative and diverse in modern society. There is a huge level of competitiveness for any new delivery service. With huge corporations like McDonald's to small businesses like your local cafe, all offering the same services. What Jaffle Shoots has done though, is thought of something new that would take their delivery service into a completely different league. They've found something completely new that other delivery services don't offer. Even if the consumer doesn't know what a Jaffle is, it's the enjoyment of it that will make them buy the product, mention it to others and come back for more. The company has already spent four months in New York with high demand for their product. People are always looking for the new thing, and with social media so prominent in today's society, everyone is always looking for the next unusual, fun thing to post about. In conclusion, the reason why Jeffrey should be innovative marketing are as follows. Firstly, they made better use of space on the fifth floor. Secondly, Jeffrey Shoots can provide entertainment for customers by using the idea of the miniature parachute. Next, this company make the most of using social media. Additionally, when the founders chose a targeting strategy, they selected one attractive segment, the sandwich. They have concentrated on one menu and added the differentiated service, the parachute. Jeffrey Shoots has been making waves globally on social media and in television news. Grant says they made the decision to launch a possible campaign to extend their reach across the Pacific to meet the growing expectation to bring Jeffrey Shoots to America.